Hi, my name's Chris, and today we're going to go over the domain and range of functions of two variables. Now, this is very similar to taking the domain and range of functions of one variable, because you're just looking for points where a function is undefined, such as division by zero, a logarithm has to have an argument greater than zero, any even-powered root function can't be taken of a negative number, and so... It's not too much different, it's just now we're working with two variables instead of one. So, in this first function, f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared, there's nothing that makes that undefined at any point. You can plug in any real number into x or y and you will get a real answer and that will be fine. So the domain of f is x, y such that x is an element of the real numbers and y is also an element of the real numbers. And, uh, and so talking about the range, now there's no value of a number that you can plug in to make x squared zero or to make y squared zero. And if you plug in 0, 0 for the point on this equation, you'll get 0. So the range of f is going to be um, from 0, uh, including 0, to infinity. Now, the function g at x and y, which is the square root of 4 minus x squared minus 4y squared, it's a little bit trickier because now there's spots where the function can become undefined and that the range is affected greatly by that. So to start off, if you were doing this in Calc 1 with a one variable function and you had something inside the square root, say the square root of 3 minus x, you would set 3 minus x greater than or equal to 0. And we'll do the same thing here. We're going to set 4 minus x squared minus 4y squared has to be greater than or equal to zero. Because anything that wasn't greater than or equal to zero would be the square root of a negative, that can't happen. And now we see that we've got x squared and y squared with different coefficients, so it's looking like this might be either a hyperbola or an ellipse, we're not really sure yet, we have to solve, but so we're gonna not try to solve this for y or x in the domain and range, we're just gonna solve it for the equation of that shape. And so we're going to start by bringing these over. So it's going to be 4 is greater than or equal to x squared plus 4y squared. And now we want this number to be a 1. So we're going to divide both sides by 4. And we're going to get 1 is greater than or equal to um, x squared over 4 plus y squared. And that's the equation of an ellipse where the domain is everything inside of the ellipse, including the shape. And so if we were to graph that, we come over here and we'd set up our x and y axis. And we're going to go up to 1, down to negative 1. And the points of intersection are going to be plus or minus 2 on the x-axis and plus or minus 1 on the y-axis. And then we're going to draw this ellipse. And the domain on this graph is going to be represented by everything inside this ellipse. And this is my x and this is my y. So the domain of g um, is x, I'm not going to have enough room up there, I'll write it down here, the domain of g is x, y, such that x squared over 4 plus y squared 
is less than or equal to 1. And that's the clearest way to state this domain. Solving it for y might look neater, but you don't really know what that's saying without having to do some computations. Looking at the equation of an ellipse, you can very quickly see what the domain is. And now for the range. No, again, no, value, no real number on this domain can be plugged in to make any of this a negative number. And so there's, x squared can never be negative, so you'll never be adding anything to this 4. So a normal square root function has the domain of 0 to infinity, but because this has a 4 minus x squared minus 4y squared, the greatest the, this function will ever be is the square root of 4 or 2. So the range on this is 0 and 2 inclusive. And I hope that helped you understand the domain and range of a function a little bit. I should label this. And I wish you all luck on the rest of the class. Have a good day.